My name is Chris, and occasionally I do dumb things. So I'm walking back to get my three wheeler at the far end of the farm, and here's why. Hi, Mom. Chris from Key Farm. So it's Sunday after church. I figured I'd stop by here and feed the animals. I've put hay out. I've fed some of them grain. Decided I'd come over and put some deer corn out. Successfully got deer corn in front of both cameras. And I thought, ah, I'll just ride around just a little bit. Just some, just some light riding. So I stayed up on the high side. And then I come to this spot right here that I have crossed a million times on the three-wheeler and the four-wheeler. And because I've crossed so many times, in the bottom of this little branch is a lot of mud. Very, very soft right in the bottom. Well, I don't have big old mean tires on the golf cart. So there I sat stuck. Mm. Well, I got a couple of options. I can leave it here, shut it off, it's not going to rain until Wednesday, and I can get it out tomorrow and just walk out of here and get my car and leave. Or I can go get Big Red, pull it right out, or I can keep pulling with it, pushing it back and forth, back and forth and get even more muddy than I already am. In my church clothes, mind you. I don't like my stuff to stay stuck, even though it's over here on the back of the property where nobody's going to bother it. So, I guess I'll go get Big Red. To be continued. Oh, Harley. The pride of Key Farm. Alright, got Big Red crunk up. I'll go over there and pull this golf cart out and see if I can get everything back to the barn without doing anything stupid. It's, it's possible. I mean, if I wasn't stupid, I wouldn't be in the predicament I'm in. So the chances of me not doing anything stupid in the next few minutes is probably rare, but we'll see what happens. Okay, we're approaching the victim of my stupidity. Yeah, I left it running. Great thing about something air-cooled with a fan already built in. Look, it runs on basically a tiller motor, and a tiller can sit there wide open in the same spot and run all day long. So I put the seat up to let it get a little more air, and it can probably sit in idle forever. Probably. Look, if I'm wrong, it's a $100 mistake. I don't like $100 mistakes, but I don't think I'm wrong. All right, golf cart doesn't weigh very much. Shouldn't take anything more than rope to get it out. Of course, rope's pretty old. All right, golf cart, I want you to go out that direction. All right, Big Red, let's see what not being very smart. Maybe I can drive it out. Hmm. Guess the rope's pretty old. Let's see what you got, golf cart. There's the previous attempts to get it out. I've seen on uh, Facebook a lot. Life's hard. It's harder if you're stupid. Yeah, it's pretty rough for me. 
uh, you may have noticed in the previous video, it was out. It was on hard ground. And I thought, well, I'll just get it up a little further. That's when the rope broke. All right, getting ready for take two. Take two. Fantastic. All right, Big Red, you stay put. All right, don't roll back. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, that one on hard ground. This one's on hard ground. Whew. All right, this is Chris from Key Farm saying love God, love people, keep watching Key Farm, and try not to do anything dumb today. Bye.